and we're looking through the fence into my squash patch. We're looking at some neck pumpkins, though they're kind of hard to see with the leaves hanging in the way. You can probably see it in back there. There's a, a smaller neck pumpkin right here, and then in the back, there's a much larger one. And I've been wanting to harvest that for about a week now. It looks beautiful, so I'm going to wade in there and get it out. You can see the pumpkin was hanging on the trellis very near the top. In fact, pretty much right at the top of the trellis. And as it grew bigger, as the neck pumpkin grew bigger, it just pulled the trellis down. So I'm going to reach over, cut the uh, stem off the vine, and try to lug that thing up over the trellis. Actually, maybe I'm going to go through to cut it. And they got it. Fashioned a harness out of a plastic bag so I can weigh the neck pumpkin. I have a food scale to hook onto it. And that's coming into about 17 pounds. I'll see if I can give you a close look at it. For the sake of comparison, I harvested a butternut squash to set down next to my neck pumpkin. I would call this a small butternut squash or bordering on medium size. And you would probably pay $1.50 or so for the butternut squash. So if you can buy a neck pumpkin for $2.50, you're getting a huge bargain. Uh, butternut squash has a slightly squashier flavor than neck pumpkin but they're very similar. You can use them for all the same foods.